Beautiful. Uh, all right. Now, meanwhile, we've got we've already got a bit of a crowd here. Obviously, there are going to be a lot of other top 64 games happening, so I think there are going to be a lot of people looking at a lot of different screens. Yes. But uh, the main one to watch is obviously going to be right in front of your own eyes, right here. Yeah. This is where you've got to perform. This is where the pressure is. So, uh, yeah. I mean, we'll have to see who comes up next. Right, let's let's take a look. Oh, I think There's the, some discussion the about who's about coming. To be up. But uh, coming back to this, so we've got top 32, top 8. Again, we've talked about some of the threats that have been uh, in the mix here. Oh. I am really curious to see what our top 8 looks like. Oh, here we are. Here we go. It's going to be Shadru sitting down. Yep, and we've got our boy Taicho from South Australia on the left of the screen. Fantastic. All right, let's get it done. So, yeah, it looks like we've got a Ken... Uh, Greninja, you know, we've got the different martial arts, but Taicho really, he uh, doesn't have any Kens or Ryus, anything like that in the scene to really practice against, so I think he's going to have to rely on really his, his raw brute skill. Absolutely. Um, Shadow, on the other hand, I'm not too sure whether he gets uh, much Greninja practice. Yeah, I feel like, uh, I, I think it's it's always, yeah, always very difficult as well when you've got when you've got a character like Ken as well. I think it's just, you know, you give him an opening, you, you give him an inch and he, and he runs a mile. Uh, so it can be really, really tough to uh, to deal with that. Uh, especially with no sort of like frame one, you know, out of, uh, you know, out of get out of jail free card options, yep. essentially. And I don't believe Greninja really has any of those. No, just really strong um, ground play, mm. you know, uh, anti-air. Um, yeah, down to it just makes stuff happen. Yeah, absolutely. Makes stuff happen. Yeah, the same can be said for both both characters, actually, in fact, as well. Yep. Down tilt is the uh, is the bane of any Ken opponent's existence. Yes. It starts stuff and it ends stuff, so uh, it's very, very dangerous. But uh, So let's see what stages are we going to pick. What uh, what stages do you reckon you'd even pick against a Ken? Like, what, you'd probably go for something... You want something with a bit of space, but uh, I don't know. That might just be, uh, might just be me being scared of someone just flying at me with Tatsumaki Senpukiaku. It's terrifying. I, I guess Taicho's uh, considering the top of the stage and... My apologies, I didn't actually check what they, they picked right there. I think they went for Battlefield. Yeah. So, yeah, the, 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 obviously for, for Taicho, he's probably thinking about the Shoryuken, um, you know, kill potential. So he wants to give himself as much, as much time to breathe as possible. Absolutely. All right, so yeah, confirmed Battlefield is here. So uh, stage is set, let's get into it. Uh, right, Shadru, uh, both players, I feel like, kind of trying to suss each other out, but already going in with those down tilts, get, managed to get 30% out of it as well. That's a, that's a classic bread and butter combo there. Oh, but there we go, four tilt into a... Uh, oh, I believe it was four tilt into the into the back air as well. Look at that damage already, 78.3%. Right, so getting the neutral at that time, following it up with an up air, a second one, which is not going to be stopped by focus. Yeah. Now, interesting as well, yeah, interesting to note the fact that the up air, which is going to be one of Greninja's best combo tools as well, uh, yeah, Shadru just won't be able to get through it with his focus alone. He's going to have to uh, try either air dodge or potentially just trying to avoid it altogether. You can see Taicho here, this, his edge guard game is going to be absolutely critical to gaining success. Mm. Nice, getting the, uh, the, I believe, the weak hit there of the up, uh, up smash, so doesn't quite get the kill, but definitely puts a bit of a message and a bit of damage onto, uh, onto Shadru there. Whoa! Up smash, not going to take it, but he nearly eats the Shoryuken. Oh, and there you go. Nice. That's the sort of stuff he's going to want to get. Yeah, against, against a, I would say, a relatively exploitable uh, recovery of Ken's. Yep. Um, I think it's the, using those waters. Oh, getting the first hit parry, but uh, it's still got a couple of other hits to go, my friend. Yep, still alive. Couple of Shurikens to get back on stage. Yeah, well, a couple of Shoryukens on the ledge as well. So, yes. Uh, I think he's just kind of trying to mimic uh, his friend Greninja there. Oh, with the back air straight to the froggy dome. Solid right up the side. Absolutely. So that's going to be uh, back to even Stevens. And again, starting off the down tilts into the uh, into that roundhouse kick, 24%. But uh, already, damage coming out from uh, Greninja as well. Yeah, Taicho really good at get, getting that guaranteed damage. Indeed, indeed. Look at that. All right, the up tilt, though. I, I, I mentioned this earlier in doubles, but uh, boy, oh boy, the, the wet tongue sound of uh, Greninja's up tilt is really quite disconcerting, but it, it, comes, out, <laughs> numbs up, it comes out nonetheless. All right, yeah. Again, uh, Ken using his Shoryuken as well, actually poking through the stage, so it can be really, really good at uh, a bit of an anti-edge guard. Yep. Taicho is still sitting okay, I think, for now, but yes, that Shuriuk is not going to get it, was what I was going to say, but now it's really the scary zone. Oh, nice. Reading that roll in. Across the stage, keeps him alive. Yeah. Right, now, 
125%. Shoryuken is a little bit stale. Oh my goodness, but that roundhouse kick isn't. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> he just disappeared. Oh, there we go. But getting that down tilt straight back. into the up smash. Yes. Immediate response. Really back and forth game. Both players showing they know exactly what they need to do to get it done. Absolutely right. So we see the uh, probably one of the first kind of onstage Tatsumaki's coming out. There we go. And coming out with it again. Uh, such a great combo tool as well, and especially around the sort of 30 to 40% mark, it does send into a tech situation as well. So that's something that Greninja's going to have to be incredibly ca uh, cautious of. Alright, both players just kind of taking their positions on the other side of the stage, going for Hadoukens and Water Shurikens. Time three, but the other down tilt. Down tilt again. Backhand. Oh, Whoa. great patience from, uh, from uh, Shadru there. Roll back. See, Taichu's doing a bit of ground play mix up with a few bit of jumping. Trying, to, he's trying to get his opening. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, both players, are ex that's exactly what they're looking for. They need it. Getting the down tilt right. to up smash, not going to kill again. Putting a lot of damage onto Ken though. But again, Ken with rage, that's a, that's equally as dangerous. That's right. You don't want. Oh, the, wow! There we go. The landing neutral into the forward edge, just enough to kill. Barely, but uh. There we go, the first game is going to be going to our friendly uh, friendly frog there off to the left. Yes. Fantastic stuff. Confirmed game absolutely on fire for Taicho. I for sure. really don't think he's been messing up much. It's really been a, a matter of him fighting his neutral. Um, Shadru too, like, I can see he's finding his way through this match, so I think his stage pick and, uh, and how he approaches this next game will be really key. Mm. Now Smashville as well, having, a, uh, having just a single platform up the, uh, up the top there, I think is going to serve Ken pretty well. Um, now I feel like, uh, I, I guess just you know having the option of being able to call people out on the platforms uh, with your shuriken, with other things like that is really, really good. Um, also with, uh, oh my god, alright, look at him go, 61% already. Let's you can see, see Taicho going for those neutral airs back onto stage quite a lot, but I'm wondering whether Shadow's going to clue onto those eventually. He wants that shuriken. He does indeed. <laughs> You can see those up tilts just poking all around the spot. Oh, okay. Wow, getting out of that Shoryuken as well from the down tilts. Might have just been a spacing issue there from Shadru, but uh, it definitely saved a Taiko, a Taicho's life there. Taicho slowly just tacking on bit by bit that damage. Uh, yeah, both players... Uh, more or less even, but I feel like Ken, Ken with an opponent at 86% is a lot more dangerous. Yeah, Shadow is definitely playing the uh, chase down game at the moment. Taicho is being a little bit more evasive. Oh my, oh, oh hello. Sends him up onto the stage, but oh. he is going to take the first dog. <laughs> Directly, basically exactly where Shadow kind of wanted to be. Yeah, yeah, that he's was okay a, with it. Yeah, that was not really what Taicho had in mind. But uh, you know what, Chad Drew, he'll take that. Down to, wow, down to the forward air from the other side of the stage, not even the center stage either. Yep, as I say, he's going to be able to count on those when, he, when he's needing them. Oh my goodness, look at that conversion, 66% already. Again, Speaking yeah. of conversions, getting a bit of damage on him. All right, Second double up, up there. there. Can I get a third, sir? No, not today. Oh, okay, that's just, a big punish. Yeah. I think that's what he wanted to do. Yeah, rapid jabs can be very, very dangerous when uh, when used improperly. That's a, a lot of end lag, and I think Shadow knows that of all people. Also, just get him off stage. I like that option rather than the grab, Ooh, and that's going to be we go. stuck. That's a beautiful, beautiful uh, use of the hydro pump there from Tacho. Uh, it comes a little bit more into his favor compared to the last stock. Uh, so I think that's exactly what he's been going for, and he's going to keep trying to go for it. He's going for the wall forward smash there. Get off me. Shadru says, so 100.9%. Uh, Alright, it's a back air. And the Shuriken's air dodge. Oh, nice. There we go. Poking through the stage with that Shuriken. Alright, again, the chase down from Shadru and just the evasiveness. Shadru's just running back. And I think that's really working out for him because he's finding the openings out of that, of the overextensions. Yeah, Shadru really looking for those uh, Shoryukens as well. Just needs to get this stock, uh, needs to get it now. Yeah, Shadru's holding center stage, but Taisho's just running it left to right. To find it. And again, neutral back onto stage. I feel like Shadru just needs to uh, open his mind to that, that option. 
Absolutely. There we go. Just the gentleman's jab. The triple. Oh I just happy goodness. to do those counters off stage. Oh my god, he's going for it. Right, trying to get as close to him as possible. All right, again, yeah, yeah that's a, a very good punish. It's a heavy punish, and that's a 2 0 lead, uh, 2 0 win there as well for Taicho. Yeah, excellent stuff. stuff there. Yeah, against, against such an intimidating character as Ken as well, uh, Greninja absolutely held his ground, and uh, Taicho walks away relatively unscathed for all intents and purposes. Yep, did what he needed to do. I mean, you can count the three things in my mind coming into that set. Number one, he had to do a lot of the edge guarding and basically just keep make it hard to recover back on stage. He did Absolutely. that. Number two, conversions. And number three, he was playing the very much uh, bait and punish game. Mm. So um, excellent stuff there from Taicho. Shadra, on the other hand, I think, you know, through losers, he's going to be scaring a lot of people coming through that. But